But most people have what we call a, a revocable trust. And a revocable trust stays in your social security number until you pass away. So at that, and, and at that point, um, you title everything in your trust. And when you pass away, it passes through to your beneficiaries. And usually, it is taxed in the beneficiaries um, on their taxes. There are irrevocable trusts, and in an irrevocable trust, it's taxed at the tax, as tax, excuse me, under the trust. There's also some medical trusts. There's um, other kinds of trusts. But the question I get a lot is, why can't the trust pay the taxes? And it is possible in some situations. But one thing that people need to understand is, um, is that trusts pay a much higher tax rate than individuals. So I put this up here for that reason, because when people call and ask me this question, they need to understand that trusts, by the time, by the time they go over $13,000 in taxable income, they're already in a 37% tax bracket. So they go up very quickly to a high tax bracket. So let's just quickly go back to this one, and you can see that to be in a 37% tax bracket for individuals in a single and in a mar married, it would have to be 628,000 to get in that same tax bracket. So usually it is more beneficial to pay the tax for the individuals than the trust. So while it may seem easier to have the trust pay the taxes, it's generally more beneficial to have the individual pay the taxes. And most trusts are written up that way. Not always, there are some reasons why the, the trust pays the taxes, but most um, trusts are set up that the individuals will pay the taxes. Now what you can do is have the trust reimburse the individuals. And what we can do at our office is run a projection to tell you what, how it would be different if the trust pay the taxes and the individual pay the taxes. And like I said, generally it's better to have the individuals. But I put this up here to show people because I get this question a lot. Um, why can't the trust pay the taxes? Um, and sometimes it's just because trustees don't want to deal with their siblings or whoever. It might just seem easier to have the trust pay the taxes and move on. But generally it is easier or it, less than expensive. You're paying a lot less tax if the individuals pay them. And then over here it also shows you that while individuals have way higher exemptions, you know, going back here, you know, your exemption here um, is going to be this. Oh, sorry. Um, trusts have very small exemptions from income. So this right here would be an estate, which would be a probate situation. Simple trusts have 300, and a, which would be a revocable trust, most likely, and a complex trust would be an irrevocable only has a hundred dollar exemption from the income before tax hits in. So just a simple quick you know ex explanation of why it is generally cheaper to pay the trust to the individuals in a revocable trust.